Hi, this is Rian from the Must Be Noob. In this tutorial, we will walk you through how to configure an Active Directory domain controller on Windows Server 2025. To promote a Windows Server 2025 to a domain controller, there are few requirements must be met. The server must have a static IP address configured. A dynamic IP address is not suitable for a domain controller as the IP address must remain constant for proper network communication and domain services. The server must be able to resolve DNS queries typically pointing to an existing DNS servers or itself if it's the first domain controller. DNS is very important for Active Directory functionality. You must be logged in as a user with administrative privileges to perform the domain controller promotion. If you are adding a domain controller to an existing domain, ensure that the domain and forest functional labels are compatible with Windows Server 2025. If you are creating a new forest, ensure that you have the necessary planning for the domain and forest structure. Once these requirements are met, you can use the Server Manager or PowerShell to promote the server to a domain controller either for a new domain or to add it to an existing domain. In this video, we will promote this Windows Server 2025 to be the first domain controller in a new Active Directory forest. First, let's open Server Manager. If it's not already open, you can launch it by clicking the Start button and searching for Server Manager. In Server Manager, click Local Server. The property styles appear in the right pane. As you can see, I have already assigned the static IP address to this server. In the previous video, we assigned a static IP address to this Windows Server 2025. The hostname of this server is DC01. We have logged into this server using the administrator account, which provides us with the necessary permissions to install and configure Active Directory domain services on this server. In Server Manager, click on Manage at the top right, then select Add Rules and Features. This will open the Add Rules and Features wizard. Click Next. The Select Installation Type page appears. Leave the rule based of each base installation selected and click Next. Click Next to accept the default local server. On the Select Server Rules page, check the box for Active Directory Domain Services. You will be prompted to add additional features. Just click Add Features. Also check the box for DNS Server Rule. You will be again prompted to add additional features. Just click Add Features. We have selected Active Directory Domain Services and DNS Server Rule. Click Next. We do not need any additional features at the moment. Click Next to continue. On Active Directory Domain Services page, read the brief overview information about ADDS. Click Next. We have the same brief overview information about DNS Server Rule. Click Next. View the features and rules to be installed. Finally. Click Install to begin the installation of Active Directory Domain Services. The Installation Progress page appears as the wizard installs the selected rules and features. If you want, you can close this wizard. After installing the Active Directory Domain Services role, you must promote the server to a domain controller. In this lab, we will create a new domain within a new forest and configure this server to act as the primary domain controller for that domain. Once the installation is complete, you will see a notification in Server Manager that says promote this server to a domain controller. Click on the link to start the promotion process. The Active Directory Domain Services Configuration Wizard starts. In the Deployment Configuration screen, you have a few options. If this is an additional domain controller for an existing domain, choose Add a Domain Controller to an existing domain option. If this is a domain controller for new domain in existing forest, then select the second radio button. To deploy a new Active Directory forest, select Add a new forest. Enter a root domain name for your new forest. For example, let's use mustbenoob.lab. After entering the root domain name, click Next to continue. Next, choose your forest functional label and domain functional label. For a new setup, you can leave both at default Windows Server 2025. Under Specified Domain Controller Capabilities, make sure DNS and Global Catalog options are selected. 
Enter the directory services restore mode password. This password will be used if you ever need to repair or restore Active Directory. Click next to continue. On the DNS options screen, leave the default settings unless you have a custom DNS configuration. Click next. Verify the database name of your domain. The wizard will suggest one based on your domain name, but you can change it if necessary. In our example, our domain's database name is going to be must be noob. Click next. The path page appears. At the moment, we are going to use the default path for Active Directory Database, Log Files and Syswall. Click Next. On this page, review your selections. If you need to modify any selected settings, go back and choose the correct settings. If you are happy with it, click Next. The wizard performs the necessary checks and a notice appears on the page indicating that all prerequisite checks have passed successfully. If everything looks good, click Install to begin the promotion process. Click on Install. The installation page appears as the wizard creates the new Active Directory forest and promotes this server to be a first domain controller in new Active Directory forest. After the installation completes, your server will automatically restart. The system will apply the changes and promote the server to be a domain controller. Once the server has restarted, Log in with your domain administrator's credentials. Press Ctrl Alt Delete, enter the domain administrator's password in password text box and press Enter. You can verify that the domain controller is set up by opening Active Directory users and computers from the Tools menu in Server Manager. Click on Tools and select Active Directory users and computers. If you see your domain listed under Active Directory users and computers, your domain controller is successfully configured. Expand your domain name and click on Domain Controllers. Here we can see the computer account of our domain controller DC01. And that's it. You have successfully set up Active Directory Domain Services and promoted your server to be a domain controller on Windows Server 2025. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more tips and tricks. See you next time.